Hello, my most amazing art students. Today we're going to try something new together. Normally, if you guys were in class um, after learning about frescoes, actually, the, for the first time last year, I made up Plaster of Paris and we um, created our own frescoes on that. So this year, without having anyone here, um, I, Josefina and Virginia gave me a roll of tissue paper from the bathrooms here at school and I just layered it back and forth and I have a few more because I don't know how thick this is going to be once I wet it. So you're going to need water and layered up um, toilet paper. This is single ply toilet paper, very chintzy. So I'm not going to add too much water to it, but we need to get it so that it, the layers all stick together. Let's see if that, that probably needs a little bit more. Um, this is a total experiment on my part because I want you guys to be able to do this project because um, I think it would be really cool to um, practice our fresco even if we don't have plaster. And then um, it's, it's really quite thin, so I'm just going to go ahead, ahead and add all the rest of um, this other cut stuff that I have. The cool thing um, about the toilet paper is that once it's um, wetted and together, it stays stuck together. You don't have to worry about putting any um, kind of glue or anything like that. You just got to press it together, which I guess is why spitballs work so great. Don't try that at home. Your parents will kill you. Um, so I'm just going to build up this tile and then next week um, once this is dry because we're going to have to give it time to fully dry um, hopefully it acts like that plaster that wet like we might wet it down we might not we might just use watercolor so for next week have your set of watercolors ready or Crayola markers and we can maybe wet it a little bit um, have those ready to uh, to use to create our tile. So um, I'm going to post some tile designs that you can choose from, or you can make up your own. You don't have to use the one I say, to, you know, the one I use, or anything like that. So notice how that keeps popping up right there. I think it's just because it's not wet enough. Um, so the it's going to need water so that all the layers stick together and I don't think you should do too many layers at one time maybe two this is <laughs> single ply I say that so funny like this is single ply toilet paper this is the cheapest stuff you can get um, but <laughs> too many layers well we're not cleaning ourselves with it we're just making a tile so we want it to stick together really well um, so the more layers we put on, the, the less it will stick together because it's going to absorb the moisture. Maybe I'll press down all the way around there into that wet, wetted area. You know, having this cart is a blessing sometimes, and other times it's kind of annoying. All right. Whoops. It wants to stick to me more than it wants to stick to. And it sop up all the extra moisture that's laying around here. Stick, stick, stick. So, there you have it. Um, what I think I will do is give it like, I'm going to pull it off of here. And um, then I'm going to let it dry. And then we'll come back. Because I want the reason I'm layering up so much. I'm sure the tissue paper, toilet paper that you have at home is thicker than this. Even if it's not, I didn't use very, very much of it. Um, I might just see it's not a very thick tile. It's very thin. Um, so I think I'll fold over the edges here so that it holds it all together. 
and we don't have the very wispy edges that don't aren't all the same thickness. Because so I, I do I do really want a square tile, so um, try to make that as square as possible with eyeballing it. I'm not measuring. And I'll fold over all the edges that are just really, really thin. There we go. And press together. And then this last one. So you can take a piece of sketchbook paper I'm going to post the designs this week as well. And you can start sketching out like maybe what design you want to make on your tile. Um, we're going to be making sure that it's symmetrical, which means it's the same. On And we're also going to talk about um, radial symmetry, which means that it comes out from the center and it's the same all the way around. So. Some of the designs I post might not be radially symmetrical, but they will be symmetrical, I hope. So pick one of those, practice it. When this is dry next week, we will finish it. Sorry, got to squeeze that all together. Finish it off. And I'm noticing where there wasn't a whole lot of water on that side. I'm going to give it one. Oh, and there must have been marker on my... Do you Make sure you're using a clean surface because I'm noticing that. All the little bits and stuff that were left on my table um, from other things I've been doing have gotten picked up by my tissue paper. There's my tile. That's all you need to do to create yours today. Just toilet paper and water and I'll see you next week. Have a great day.